Hello. In this particular Coding Rainbow video, I am going to show you how to use the function split and replace. Are you excited or what? Uh, split and replace to do some very common operations that are going to be needed for lots of examples I'm going to make in the future in JavaScript with regular expressions. So, uh, whoops, oh, this camera's off, but I can turn it on. And here I am. Uh, so, what are these functions? These are both functions that if you have a string, you can call split, and it takes one argument, which is a regular expression, or you can call string dot replace, and it takes another argument. It ta replace takes an argument, which is a regular expression, followed by a string, or, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, a function. So replace is going to be, is, is split's going to be very simple for us to look at. I'm going to look at it rather quickly. And I might sit in a different video, look at replace and look at how you can actually pass in a callback function. So while the regular expression is matching things, it's triggering a function which allows you to implement highly sophisticated logic for how you replace text within a piece of text. I'm just going to show you the basics of it, but I hope that you will go and make all sorts of weird and strange creative experiments by you know, mashing up and replacing text. So let's first look at split. So the scenario that I want to look at is I have a web page. It has a little text box, and I want to take that text box and whatever's in that text, and I want to split it into an array of words, an array of tokens. This is very, very common. In the flesh index example that I talked about in a previous video, I looked at, OK, well, how do you take a text and split it up into an array of words, or an array of sentences, or what about an array of syllables? So this, this idea of splitting a text into tokens, chunks of text, is very commonly something that needs to be done. So let's just look at it very briefly here in the console. I'm going to say uh, uh, unicorns and rainbows and cupcakes. That looks good to me. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say s.split. And I'm going to pass in a regular expression. Now, what goes in there? What's the regular expression that goes in there? Well, let's say if I just say backslash s, what does that mean? Now, the regular expression is a regular expression in order to match a delimiter. So whatever the regular expression and the delimiter is the thing, the, the, the character or the sequence of characters that marks where you should split the text up. So notice that, and look what I get. I now get an array that has unicorns and rainbows and cupcakes. I split it up by all the spaces. Now, let me do something. Well, let me do something and let me put a comma right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that split function again. And I'm going to and look, but look, it's and comma. So what if I want to split by a space or a comma? So you know, watch out. What if I do this? Comma backslash s. Look at this. My array only has two things in it now because I split by the sequence together of comma space, which only appears in the original string and comma cupcakes. So if I want to replace by a comma or backslash s or a space or a white space, then what I want to do is put that in a character class. So any comma followed by, uh, oh, so now not, not any comma followed by a space, a comma or a white space. And now you can see, oh, uh, that was invalid syntax. I forgot the, uh, that there. And um, let me just put that up higher for you so you can see it again. You can see, and now, ooh, look what happened here. What did I get here? Why this? So I got a little extra empty space between the, that, that's between the comma and the space because I'm actually splitting that. So here's a way that I could fix that. Think about it. How could I fix that? I want to split not by a comma or a space, but by any sequence of commas and spaces. So in other words, if I put a plus here, now a valid delimiter is a single comma or a single space or comma space or space comma or space comma space comma 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 space, right? So now if I do that, Look at that. I lost that little extra empty thing. So essentially, if what I want to do is split a text into words, and I can go into my code here, and I can say, all right, now what I want to do is I want to say words equals 
s dot split r. And I'm going to make this a separate variable. r equals a regular expression with, I don't know, a comma period, uh, exclamation point, question mark, uh, or a white space, any number of those. So if I do that, and if I do uh, create p words, and I do submit, you can see now I, I, you can see that this worked. Now let me do this. Let me actually. I think it would make sense for me to write a loop here, and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to say create, and I'll show you why I'm doing this in a little bit. I'm going to say create span words index i. Submit. Now look what I got. I got. It's clearly split into words. And you know what? Actually, just to, just to show you that this is an array, I'm going to say create p. I'm going to get into the create span thing later. So you can see this, this worked. And um, I think it would be useful also just to see that array in the console. So I'm going to say console.log words. And you can see there it is. So now I split this up. Now, what makes a good regular expression to split by words or to split by sentences? You know, this is up to you to figure out. I mean, interestingly, I could say, well, what if I just want to split only by uh, periods, question marks, or exclamation points. Now, in theory, what I've got is, uh, hmm, what did I, I, I uh, split by, oh, I didn't get a period in there. Uh, now I've got every sentence. So I split the text up by sentences. So you can see there are different ways that I could choose to split. You know, I could split by, this is going to seem weird, but by any sequence of capital letters. And now it's just split any time there was a capital letter. So it's up to you to sort of figure out what's the best sequence, what's the best thing to do. But, um, but, a but, but uh, I would say thinking about one way to split a text very sort of quickly and easily up by words is to say split by anything that is a non-word character. And so there's certainly flaws to this. But remember, slash w is any number or letter. Slash capital W is anything else. So if I do this, you can see this is a nice way for me to get all of the words in the text in a big array. So there's, um, okay, so there's one other aspect of this. And I'm going to do this as a coding challenge in a bit. But I want to mention it to you. What if I wanted to split this up but actually retain the punctuation? Like, look, what if I wanted to know still in the array that a comma comes after reflection, a period comes after arc? So there's a little secret trick here, which is that if, in the regular expression, if I use capturing parentheses, if I put capturing parentheses around the delimiter regular expression, then those delimiters that, are, that the text is split up by are saved into the array. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to run this again. And you can see, look at that. Uh, right here, there's an element, the comma is saved, you know, this, the period is saved, the spaces should be saved too, but those aren't showing up just in the way that, I'm, that, the, uh, that the text is being rendered with HTML, but you can see that they're here in the array themselves, all those spaces. And this is going to be really useful. The coding challenge thing I'm going to do in a couple of videos from now is show you how to take a text, split it up and then interact with each word separately by clicking on it or hovering over it. And I'll, I'll show you how that, um, th how that works. Um, OK, so um, in the next video, what I'm going to do is show you not just how to use split, but how to use replace with a regular expression. OK, thanks for watching.